Today, I want to talk a little bit about unfiled tax returns. What do you do when you find yourself with multiple years of unfiled tax returns? And what about this new IRS transcript delivery service, which is really kind of neat, but I think it has limited purposes for people who have lots of years of unfiled tax returns. My name is Darren Mish, and I'm a tax attorney with a practice based in Tampa, Florida. I represent clients from all 50 states. And if you have a tax problem, I would appreciate it if you could give us a call at 888-438-6474 or visit my website at getirshelpnow.com. So let's talk about unfiled tax returns. It's not really all that unusual for people to give us a call and tell us that they haven't filed tax returns in 10, 20, 30 years or more. In fact, the record is I've had a client who hadn't filed tax returns since before I was born. And let me tell you, that exceeds four decades by a little bit. So what we typically do is we have people file the last six years worth of returns. Why? Well, because under the Internal Revenue Manual 4.12.1, That's all the IRS can really demand that you file. The criminal statute of limitations for the failure to file is actually six is is actually six years. And so that's really all the IRS is going to ask you for. So what is this thing that we're talking about with the electronic transcript delivery? Up until now, it it was not possible for a taxpayer to really electronically get their get their tax uh, transcripts from the IRS. Now, reps have been able to do this for many years, and that's one of the advantages that we have over your typical taxpayer. So we're at irs.gov, and then we're going to go here under tools, and we're going to click on order a return or account transcript. And then it says, number one, choose your transcript. Number two, gather your information. Number three, go get your transcript. So this talks about the difference between a tax return and a tax transcript. And you can go ahead and read that, of course. And, and number two is gather your information. You're going to need your biographical information that you probably expect to give the IRS. Your social security number, your date of birth, your street address, and your zip and your zip code. Uh, you're also going to then want to go to number three, which is order your transcript. And here's what that screen looks like. There's the mandatory disclaimer here that says, big no-no to misuse this website. Okay. Then you're going to fill in your social, your date of birth, your street address, and your zip code. Now, I actually haven't done this myself yet because I haven't pulled my own transcript, but I have it on good authority. I had a good friend who just sent me a message today that said he tried this and it did work for him. So this is good if you owe three years tax returns or less. That way you can get your transcript information. You can either prepare the returns yourself or you can have a professional do them. You can provide those transcripts to the professional. And then depending on what your balance is, there's gonna that's going to depend on how you're going to resolve the case. If you can afford to full pay the you know, your unfiled returns, by all means, that's probably what you ought to do. If you can't afford to pay them, there's a few options that are going to be available to you. You could potentially ask for hardship status, which is also known as currently not collectible. When you're in currently not collectible, the IRS actually agrees that you have no ability to pay and they'll put your account in a holding pattern, sometimes for many years and won't ask you to pay anything. The other option that you have is you can Uh, file an offer and compromise. An offer and compromise is where you make a deal to sell for less. It's really the topic of a whole nother video, but in a nutshell, the amount of the offer based on doubt as to collectability goes like this. They take your monthly disposable income, multiply that by 12, add in the value of your assets, and that's how much your offer is going to be. So in my typical hypothetical, if you had $50 a month in monthly disposable income, you multiply that by 12 and you have no assets, your offer is 600 bucks. So There's also an opportunity potentially to file a bankruptcy, and that's really the subject of some other videos. So feel free to look at my other videos dealing with the timing requirements for bankruptcy. But I wanted to point out that if you have unfiled returns, very often the worst thing about having unfiled returns is not knowing how much you owe, not knowing how bad it is. I've had many, many clients over the years that it wasn't as bad as they thought. And there are options out there, but the first key is you got to get your unfiled tax returns prepared and filed. If you owe more than three years tax returns, you can call the IRS and ask them to send you those transcripts, or you can hire a rep like us, and we can get all those transcripts for you. You don't even have to bother with the three years of electronic returns. My name's Darren Mish. Phone number is 888-438-6474. Website's getirshelpnow.com.